teoria dovremmo essere tornati live mi sembra che si veda tutto scusate il tem i tempi morti ma c'è stato un problema tecnico non funzionava più niente adesso mi sembra che si veda il video vediamo l'audio un attimo ha capito che oggi ho qualche problemino di trasmissione speriamo che si riprenda adesso con calma ho visto che non andiamo avanti vediamo come troviamo questo magazzino del negozio vecchio no non siamo stati Don't tell me he got Tessa involved with the Alliance for Traditional Families. Batista? No, he's way too chill for that. That's all Tessa. Why am I standing here looking at this? Uh, no, that's not it. Okay, io cerco perché ci sono anche dei collezionabili in giro. Michael mi ha dato un'occhiata. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? I wonder what's in that box. That's not it. I wonder what's in that box. Why am I standing here looking at this? You know, when you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Have you been sniffing this brand name, Tyler? We could use some of that at the house. Why am I standing here looking at this? Ok, non dovevamo contare questi se non mi sbaglio. Molto bene. I wonder what's in that box. negozio di un italo americano. Hold on, let me count this. Allora, ha detto che sono 3, quindi 3 sotto, 6, 7, 7, altre 7, 14. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Ok, sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. Candeggina. And... Where are they at exactly? I thought you had this in the bag. Okay. I'll give you a hint. Tessa puts the heavy stuff near the door on the bottom shelves. All right. I think I can work with that. L'avevamo vista prima di dietro, se non mi ricordo male la candeggina. Questo cosa sarebbe caffè? Qua, questa candeggina. No. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. 
Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Yeah, voila. Facciamo una via di mezzo. Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man, I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get? <laughs> cold, Tyler. Ice cold. <laughs> so this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? <laughs> I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker, I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? That box over there. Uh, are you gonna make me beg for specifics? Tempting, but no. See that Bible study poster on the wall over there? That's where you should be looking. Ah, huh. you're too kind. Poster della Bibbia, l'avevo visto prima. Intanto l'Xbox mi ha notificato che ho finito di scaricare anche il terzo capitolo. Qua dice. So. Dio che brutti. Allora, sotto sembrano 3, 5, 6, 7. 9, non riesco a capire sotto giusti quanti ce ne sono allora sono tre lì sembrerebbero undici uh, you've got about 11 left in that box did I get it wrong? Michael? ouch, what the fuck hey, sorry it was just Too tempting. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Oh, damn it. Gotcha. Preso. Un po' scomodo. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Ah, proprio con le coperture. Para, preso. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. Esci, metti quella testolina fuori che ti tiro un vecchio addosso. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul then. <laughs> gotcha. Preso. <laughs> Man, ah, centrato. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. 
The what? That's the name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. World-renowned marinade, huh? What's in it? A magician never reveals his secrets. Si me la posso prendere. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man, must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town will be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Hey. I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. I'm still figuring my shit out. I'm not sure if I'm made to be with anyone, you know? Yeah, of course. And don't ever feel like you have to rush into anything. Yeah, I don't, but thank you. Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Anyway... And... I'm done. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Anyway... I'm blocked the dialogue watching the one I had already done the dialogue. No way! You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, <laughs> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. And what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? <laughs> we took two hits before going to the show and that was it. Our feet couldn't find the floor, not our finest hour. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? <laughs> the Allison said she Well, our mother never actually told us, but it so. <laughs> why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. It pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. 
Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Portiamo avanti la, la love story, dai. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? <laughs> mm hmm I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Allora, quando esce il simbolo come è uscito prima dopo la mia risposta vuol dire che cambierà qualcosa nel gioco perché quella scelta lì eh, determina anche la trama. Here we are. Oh, che bel posticino. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck, for real. Look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Allora, dov'è il ricordo? Ci deve essere un ricordo perché si è attivato. Eccolo qua. Our mother made us come here all the time. It was so weird. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Okay, Always so here. Here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot, but sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids.
tradizione dell'Alaska, degli abitanti storici della regione proprio. Here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. Not this one. There's Michael. Oh, nice. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Anything? Nah, just a whole lot of nothing. Yazzie. Why does that sound familiar? Yazzie Trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. And he'd always blast the horn for us. No dice. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Oh. Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards. You and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Yeah, that's where I went when I ran off. I 
won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. Uh, I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but... I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but... Look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids. It's about to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday. But not today. Then I took Jane ice skating on Wednesday. I wish you could- Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. We didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Vecchi store. Allison, right? Yes. And you're... Um... It starts with a K, right? Kendra. Don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. Uh, I hope this isn't rude, but where's that accent from? Georgia. Born and raised. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's gotta be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. And we came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then... Well, we lost him. Fishing accident. God, I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's gotta change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. And I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Do you want to go back to Georgia? Well, that's the real question, ain't it? I never used to like it here. Too cold, too quiet. Like a frozen desert, thousands of miles from family. But these days, I finally started to see it the way Meech did. All of the beauty. Are you okay? Yeah, I... I just wish it hadn't taken losing him to get me to come around. I'm realizing now I fought him more out of stubbornness than anything else. That's... Uh, that's gotta be hard. Yeah. Don't ever let your own sense of what is come between you and the people you love. It's a real easy way to squander precious time. Do you think you might stay then? Well, my mama's been making the case that Jaina deserves to grow up with family. And she's probably right. But if I'm honest, the solitude here is a bit of a relief. I don't have to worry what a hundred other people are up to. Just, you know, me and my girl. No matter which way I look at it, there just ain't a clear choice. What do you think Jaina wants? I think she's happy to be wherever her toys are. <laughs> but when I think of how close I was to my cousins growing up, well, she may not realize she's missing out, but she will be. You know, I probably put too much stock in chance encounters, but you have any thoughts?
Maybe you could travel around a bit? See what else is out there. Nate's always wanted us to go to Cyprus. Might be nice to see that one through. Even if I do it without him. It sounds like you've only got good options. I don't think you need to worry about making a wrong choice. Hmm. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Well, uh, we should get moving. I hope everything works out for you and your daughter. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. Damn. She got kind of stranded out here. I know. And her daughter's barely two years old. God, those kind of accidents happen all the time. But the penalties cost less than safety upgrades, so... So they do jack shit. Life's got a price. This, this is it, right? Yeah. God, I, I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, all good. No dice. Not hers. Why can't I remember? Where is she? Io persino i brividi, ragazzi. Tessa? Ecco. Eccola. La stanno Kate. cercando. I... I... I wasn't expecting to see... But what are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? on. Our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. 
She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Cavolo. <laughs> Typical. Running away when things get tough. I don't buy that Marianne pushed you away. You turned your back on her. And now you're making excuses. Like always, you destroyed our family. You don't even have the decency to admit it. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? You went through a very challenging time, and anyone could come out on the other side confused. There's help available out there, if you'll take it. Keep your help. So that's it, then. We're done because I believe something different than you? No. It's because you don't believe in me. I see. Then I guess there's nothing more to say. You two really are her children. Hey. I know that was hard, but... You did the right thing. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. Well, if you feel like saying I told you so, now's the time. Everyone in our lives back then, none of them really gave a shit about us. Sorry, I, d I didn't mean... It's okay. I mean, we had to force the truth out of Eddie, too. But at least he took care of us. You know, a part of me really thought I'd come here and everything would be exactly the same. Ignorance is bliss, right? You can say that again. You want to sit down for a bit? Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, all right? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy, but we always pull through, right? Yeah, you're right. Hey, wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. Anyway, 
It's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos. Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? Still feels like Già completare il puzzle right? C'è qualcosa che non quadra ancora You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind I'll bet even she didn't is going to feel that way. Oh, I'm going to fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit. Oh. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Chi è sto qua? Ci sono delle prove, qualcosa nascosto lì che è andato a bruciarle. Tyler! Tyler, are you alright? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. Guy, he smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Well, at least he left us the junker. So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. I might have found something. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So, he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. For chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. Little house on the tundra. He went looking under the rug? This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. Did he really have to smash everything? None of the valuable stuff's missing. Asshole even dumped the drawers. Huh. At least you were spared. Place upside down. I 
guess we know how he made the hole. Step back. I'll be fine. Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Questa è la storia. Non so se vedo quel, quel simbolo o qualcosa che può... Lì c'è una cassetta. Wait, look, it's the same symbol. The secret keeper. Ecco. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. Leggiamo da questa qua.
Cosa mai? Era quello o era questa? Wasn't it? Come on. I don't know. I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open, and preferably without destroying the box. Abbiamo anche l'alternativa, però mi piacerebbe risolvere l'enigma se riusciamo. Leggiamo la storia. I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open. Preferably without... C'era una volta. Io non capisco che numeri vuole.
stato che ci devono essere dei numeri qui che il simbolo è quello la storia è questa cioè me l'ha detto chiaramente che è questa qua io gli unici numeri che sono sono quelli lì che ho, che ho letto all'inizio non è che ne ho letti altri Allora, destroying the box Bo proviamo Sono alcuni dei numeri che ho letto lì ma non so se proviamo Non lo so, a me il libro dei goblin è l'unica cosa che mi dà un po' fastidio, devo sempre tribulare per capirli Non ho trovato cosa c'è Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be I segreti, i segreti di Marianna. Fuck. That's rough. Oh. This, this guy tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. Even though she wanted to keep us. everything what the hell so Marianne hid a box under the barn box full of letters from our deadbeat dad he turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything all he wanted was that box and he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside you know what it all means right yep that guy had an affair with Marianne and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before.
haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? This is where I trip. Well, mi sa che stiamo per arrivare alla fine del secondo capitolo perché c'è un escalation. Wait, there was someone here that night? In the woods? No, it was just. I, s I saw. Who the hell did I actually see? Damn, he ran straight for it. No stops, no turns. He was on a mission. was the mad hunter what what are you talking about that night i thought i saw the mad hunter in the woods but i guess it was just some asshole some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun do you think it was the same guy maybe i mean it had to be him right they were wearing the same fishing gear yeah unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits and wait he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah, that must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's? I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How? How? How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear, I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Watch. 
Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! Don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. I told you, I told you that would happen. We almost had it, though. That was us watching Marianne fight that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well... If those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! So, the record of the night was... ...not menacing Tyler. bel colpo di scena quindi praticamente quello che credevamo all'inizio è completamente stravolto adesso non ho capito se è ancora vero che Allison ha colpito con le forbici la madre e poi la mamma è morta congelata come scoperto all'inizio di questo capitolo e cioè nel lago ghiacciato soffocata se non mi sbaglio non congelata e... oppure se non è più vero neanche quello comunque entra in scena un, un nuovo protagonista che finora era immaginario e avevamo eh, 
visto col nome del cacciatore matto non, non riuscivamo a capire cosa fosse adesso sembra quasi che questo cacciatore matto sia non so se il padre o un altro membro della, comuni- della comunità comunque qualcuno che faceva pressioni sulla mamma su Marianne niente io sui titoli di coda vi saluto manca ancora il terzo episodio cercherò di, di farlo la settimana prossima nel frattempo abbiamo finito i primi due Grazie a tutti, a chi, ha, a chi mi ha seguito, perché sono da solo in questa circostanza, sono abituato al plurale di quando facciamo la, la Games Night Live tutti assieme, comunque chi mi, ha, chi mi ha seguito, chi vedrà anche il, t- il video magari su YouTube eh, o qua sullo stesso Twitch.